So the secret with this is a good accurate diagram. So I've included all the various forces uh, up here. So we've got the weight going directly downwards, which is 5G. We've got the normal reaction going off uh, perpendicular to the plane. And we've got the friction. Now, because the question says that P is on the point of sliding down the plane, the friction is going up the plane. Of course, friction equals mu times R, where R is the normal reaction. So, uh, where we have questions uh, on a plane, I think it's always easiest to resolve in the direction of the plane and perpendicular to the plane. So, I really want to have all my forces being either of those two. So, I've broken the 10 newtons down to being this 10 sin alpha and 10 cos alpha. Remember, this is also an alpha degrees here because of the... Um, alternate angles being equal rule and obviously that side is opposite me so that's 10 sin th uh, alpha and that's adjacent 10 cos alpha similarly with the weight I've broken the weight down to being 5g cos alpha and 5g sin alpha again just make sure you're comfortable that this angle here is another alpha but that's alpha that's 90 degrees there that would be 90, 90 minus alpha so that's another alpha so that um, force there is 5G sin alpha, as it's opposite me, and that's 5G cos alpha. Now, I'm going to be moving on to resolving uh, in the direction of the plane, but given that friction is one of the forces involved, I'm going to need to know what R is, the normal reaction. So I'm going to kick off by resolving a perpendicular to the plane, which is what I've done down here. So my only force going upwards perpendicular to the plane is my normal reaction. And my two forces going downwards perpendicular to the plane are this 5G cos alpha and this 10 sin alpha. So R equals 10 sin alpha plus 5G cos alpha. This one and this one. Now, what about sin alpha and cos alpha? Well, using that tan alpha equals three quarters, we've got this little um, right angle triangle up here. So tan alpha opposite over adjacent is three quarters. So my opposite side is three. My adjacent side is four. And from Pythagoras, therefore, my hypotenuse is five. So cos alpha is adjacent over hypotenuse, four over five, which is 0 0.8. And sin alpha is opposite over a hypotenuse, 3 over 5, which is 0 0.6. So back to this, I can substitute 0 0.6 in for sin alpha and 0 0.8 in for cos alpha. Popping that into your calculator, you get your normal reaction being 45.2. Now moving on to resolving um, in the direction of the plane. So my two forces going up the plane are the friction, which is mu times my normal reaction so mu times the 45.2 well I've just worked out and my other force up the plane is this 10 cos alpha or 10 lots of 0 0.8 okay and that equals my only force going down the plane which is 5g sin alpha or 5g 0 0.6 so, um, rearranging to make uh, mu the subject, so taking away 10 lots of 0 0.8 and then dividing through by 45.2, I get mu being 0 0.473.